Hey guys, thanks for coming back. So, um, this video is a, I'm going to call it a project share two in one. It is a swap that I participated in, um, for this month, um, one of them. And it is also a project I created out of the collection I got recently from the new store from Rosie Studio that is on AliExpress from this collection, Wish Come True. I did an opening unboxing video um, a little while back to show the items I received, and I recently made this shadow box in a collaboration I participated in, also from that collection. So, the swap is a mail bundle swap, is what it's called. We were to make five different envelopes, you know, that um, varied in sizes and tie it together and I've not quite made up my mind yet if I want to use this twine or this really pretty eyelash trim that Miss Barbara Ford sent to me or just some plain white ribbon. Of course by the time you see this video it will have been decided and sent out so but I still wanted to share this with you guys and see you know if it, what you thought about my project if you liked it. <laughs> So, I'm going to start from the bottom, and I did create all of the envelopes from the 12 by 12 paper pad from this collection. Um, we were to fill each envelope with goodies for our partner, so I have Velcroed each one, and I'm going to hope that my partner is not watching this, <laughs> um, or that she receives it before the video, before she... Receives it before the video goes up. Sorry. I got tongue twisted. Anyway, so I found this little stencil. And it's, I think it's perfect for her considering the type of things she likes to create and her taste in things. So, this background paper was, um, it's like a marble finish. And obviously you can see all the silver splatters in it. So I didn't do a whole lot with it because of the background going on. So, this little bear here did come from a 4x6 journaling card from here. It was this one, yes. From the collection. I fussy cut it out. And then see, I stuck a dually back there. I used some strips of paper because I don't want to waste anything. <laughs> and then I've got a little snowflake. There's another journaling card here. It's got some floral pieces down in there. But I layered some vellum with the torn edges. I don't know why I love that. Just adds texture with the word joy. And then a little ticket. Ephemera pieces, star. So yeah, that is my first envelope. The next size up. Uh, well, I believe that envelope was about 5 by 7-ish. Is what that one went in size. And the next one up is this one. Again, I created all the envelopes. This one has a thicker goodie inside. I think she will love it. Some little gypsy frames by Seven Gypsies. So, for the envelope, I used a Martha Stewart um, Around the Page Punch to create this blue background piece out of one of the um, cardstocks from the pad. Um, the florals, the leaves, all this came from the chipboard and ephemera pack. Um, the die, see, I had this die to cut Shine Bright out of one of the pink coordinating papers. And I backed it on some silver metallic type paper. And I did fussy cut around that myself. The die did not cut the background. So, yeah. And that's like... To me, it was like a shooting star. And then that was like some trims from the collection. I just thought it would be cute. Popped on there. It's not focusing. Is it the shimmer? Ooh, there we go. I don't know what happened. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so. And that is the next one up. And you can see not a big difference in the sizes. But just enough to tell that they're all you know, stacked up and different. Okay, for my next one, I wasn't too sure about this one. But, 
I did it. So I used a pink design, um, the same actually that I cut Shine Bright from, to make this envelope. Again, Velcro closure. Um, and here, there was a couple of, I think there's some bow die cuts and then some Cartabella ephemera pack for her. So, at this point, I had already had some scraps from previous projects. So, I had some pieces of paper and I just tore those and inked them, layered them on top of each other. I layered up some. This was one die cut together with these flowers already on it. I layered in some more over here and there to go with it. I had um, this piece here is actually embossed from something I created. And I had a scrap piece and I just thought it went well with it. And I added some, they are actually flower stamens here that I found on AliExpress. I thought they went well with it. It was the perfect shade of pink, so I popped those in there. I would also here, I die cut, die, die cut, die cut, <laughs> some stars. I had some nesting, um, ornate, not ornate, what's that word? The funky shaped, you know what I mean. Uh, stars, I did one from the swan paper that matches, and then one out of vellum. And they are stitched, and I just... Put one a little sideways, and I popped a chair on with some foam tape. So at first I wasn't sure about all these layers in the background and all that going on. But, here it is. <laughs> so, my next envelope is this one. I created this envelope out of another paper with the florals on there. There was two different florals like this, and this one happens to be green, and it's like book page back and off in the background. For this one, I put in some vintage flashcards, some little tickets. What was over there? Oh, some little words. I'm pretty sure she will enjoy these little goodies. So, to decorate it, I used one of the journaling cards. I inked, up, inked it up a little bit. To give it a little pop of the blue, bluish purple coming out. And it says celebrate the season. I used a scalloped circle to die cut that. And then I layered a pink rosette, crepe paper rosette, and a couple of ephemera pieces on top. This was a trim that came with the collection. I just made a little bow and then glued it down so that it would be hanging around this um this let's see this one with the deer and the purple with the silver yes and over here too those are actually the coordinating washi tapes i put it down on some cardstock and i cut my ends to give me fishtails and i also used some other scrap pieces that coordinated to layer up and have them popping out behind that too i'm pretty happy with how this one turned out Super glittery. Love it. And my last envelope. I think it has to be my favorite. So there was a very pretty purple paper in the pack as well. You can see it's like florals. see pine cones and branches. And Velcro. And I put these little steampunk. It says jewelry parts. But they're really great for altering and adding to projects. And she... I can only imagine what she's going to do with them. So for the front, I also had some tags that came in this collection. And I knew when I first got it. Sorry, let me. I should have had this out. So I saw this tag in the collection and I knew that it would make a perfect shaker. It's not perfectly circled, so I knew I couldn't do a circle die um, to, you know, to make my foam. To layer up but I did make it work and I am pretty happy with how it came out so I made that and I ended up popping it on the front of this one I'm pretty happy pretty happy with that one I didn't want to give this one up once I was finished so yeah I may have put too much in there what do you guys think so another 
trim in this collection is this, it's like a velvet dark blue. It probably looks black on camera, but it is a dark blue indeed. So I just did that almost like you would see on a gift. Um, I put my shaker down. I layered up a couple of trees from the ephemera pack. And this deer is actually also from... One of the cards. Here it is. At the top it said Mary Everything. So I fussy cut that cute little deer out. Some little gifts on its back. Popped it on the foam in front of the trees. This was a sticker. The swan piece. It was like a label. I thickened it up. Popped it on foam. And used some of the words from the collection to make it work. It says May All Your Wishes Come True. And it actually said, may all your Christmas wishes come true. But my goal for this collection was, yes, it's a Christmassy theme. But it can also be a winter theme. If you leave out the Merry Christmas and such. You know, and the Ho 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 and stuff like that. Um, you, I still use the Happy Holidays, I believe. Or Celebrate the Season. Because it's still, you know, the season. And it's holidays and all that. So, it still works. Like I said, this had, this said, may all your Christmas wishes come true. And there are some other ones that were more Christmassy sayings as well. But they're easily, you know, you can cut them, you can alter them, and you can make it whatever you want. So that was my main goal, was to use this collection and show how you can use it for winter theme as well, not just Christmas. I'm going to fix that. So, I popped on a few sequins. Those are also in the sequin mix. There's some tiny stars. I glued a couple down up here. I have a few stars in the sky. And there's a star here and a couple here. And that is actually part of the trim that I used here. I just snipped a few of them apart and I was able to use those for embellishing as well. So yeah, that is my little mail bundle swap. And I, it will be tied together with one of these little ribbon strings that I decide to wrap it up with. And if you've not seen the unboxing of the items for this collection, I will link it in the description so you can go and check that out. As well as the store information that is new on AliExpress. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.